Right. Well, uh, first, firstly, I'd like to say that India is a country that I have enormous respect and affection for. I had the good fortune to live there for three and a half years. And, um, and so I have seen India uh, transforming. I have seen uh, India transforming in the context of the SDGs, also in the context of its capacity to project itself internationally and to assume international leadership roles. And that's something I think that is highly valuable at this time of which we're living. It's a time of change, a time, time of transition, a time in which the old world order is being uh, seriously undermined because of its uh, difficulty in responding to the challenges of, uh, of current times. And um, India is, of course, emerging as a country of reference, not just for the, for the so-called global south, I prefer the term plural south because of the heterogeneity uh, of countries in the southern hemisphere, not that India is in the southern hemisphere. But um, uh, also, uh, I think that India has the weight and the credibility to uh, point up some of the major issues that need changing, such as the international financial architecture or the um, current Security Council, which is uh, corresponding to a time that is no longer the present time. So I would like to just have a last uh, small comment on Canada-India <coughs> tensions, if you can talk about that, the recent delegations put by Canadian Prime Minister, which India has already rejected. So any comment on that? Would like to give. No, it's a matter between Canada and India, and uh, Canada and India are both uh, friends of ours. We have excellent relations with Canada, excellent relations with India, and we very much hope that uh, divergence between those two countries can be quickly resolved to satisfaction of, of both of them. Kuggade, Janapara, Niluvu, Namma Kartavya. Matina, Gadha, Yudha, Kate, Mukta Vedike. Yavude Vichara, Vishya, Italy. Reality, Bichidude, Namma Kartavya. Idu, Republic, Canada, Mahabharata. Debate, Shurumarona.